This is all like tree planting, but it uh, kind of feels like grave markers. Yeah, so uh, I don't know. I had a pretty bad mental health day today, so I said, F it. I'm gonna borrow my buddy Doug's Osmo Action and uh, go and take some photos. Uh, the clouds look really crazy right now, so it could either go completely dark on us at sunset or light up really wild. So I'm gonna go to this waterfall spot called Ammonite Falls here in Nanaimo and uh, Hopefully it doesn't kick my ass too hard. I haven't gone on a hike in a while. I'm really playing with this action cam. I've, uh, I've never bought one or owned an action cam because I kind of want to invest my money where it's going to give me the most professional results. I don't usually vlog or do anything like this, so I bought cinema cameras, I bought DSLRs, I bought lenses, 500, 600 bucks to get an action camera with all the bells and whistles seemed like a lot, and it's not really something I can show up to a shoot with and get a job done, so yeah, I kind of ignored it, but I'm enjoying it, it's really fun. God, it's so beautiful here. I've never taken this trail into Ammonite Falls before, and there's just these massive maple trees and bridges and creeks, and yeah, you know, I mentioned my mental health wasn't great today. I was really struggling with a lot of self-doubt. I thought the battery just died, but it's fine. Anyway, it's just, you know, thinking that I'm not good enough, and that kind of thinking can really bog you down, and Honestly, just spending a few minutes out in nature here. I already feel a lot better. It's just such a crazy trail. <laughs> it's a goat path, really. But I can hear the creek, which means falls can't be far. All right, so that was a bit of a more intense trail than I expected, actually. It's uh, pretty vertical, and there's like a lot of ropes and stuff to hold on to. I don't know if you can see it, but like, that's where I came down, so. Anyways, uh, this is Benson Creek Falls. Uh, it's a bit smaller than Ammonite Falls, and to be completely honest, a little less uh, impressive, but we're gonna shoot this because it's just a little bit too deep to walk across right here, and the trail up is so steep. I don't wanna do it in wet boots, so you live and you learn. It's just a little bit early in the season to access Ammonite from this way without bigger uh, boots, so let's set up and shoot this and make the most of this. Yeah, so we're trying to get a composition going here, and uh, now this is tall enough that it's kind of hard to get everything in frame, so I'm just trying to work with what I got here. Uh, we got the Rokinon 14 mil up front again. I think I'm going to have to do like a kind of like a three-stitched vertical panorama to kind of get the shot I want here, but Let's try it. I don't know. I've never done that with this camera and this lens before, so let's see how it works out. Alright, so because this is a smaller kind of scene to uh, get a composition in, I think I've kind of got the shots that I want to stitch this pano and uh, I think I'm gonna capitalize and get out of here where there's still light. I'm not getting the kind of open sky sunsets that I thought I was gonna see here, but the light's actually quite nice. It's really soft. There's a bit of color in the sky. I hope that I can pull that out in post, but I'm gonna get out of here. But I noticed one thing that I've never seen on the trail down that I've always wondered about. So I'm gonna go try to find that and see if we can show it to you guys. All right, so we got lucky and we found it. This is a... Uh... A little cut out off the trail and honestly it really did kick my ass trying to get here it's a it's a steep climb and i'm wearing a fold down jacket too so it's not really helping the whole sweating situation i'm uh i can see the steam coming off me and i'm not gonna lie this quarantine has seen me binge eat my fair share of cinnamon buns and so part of my mental health slipping into a bit of depression is that I'm just getting fat and tired. 
and I knew that I needed to kick my ass and get out and do something I'm, I'm passionate about. And I always knew that this waterfalls, that, well, the falls that we were trying to get to were called ammonite falls. And I thought it was because there was little ammonites, like fossils around. And I'd still never seen them at the falls. I'd seen them down on Benson Creek. But now up at Benson Creek Falls, we're seeing this huge ammonite fossil carved into the rock. You can really see bits of the fossil texture from the shell in there. And to think that there is an ammonite that was three feet long just boggles my mind. I, I didn't ever think I would see something that huge. But I'm just happy that I found this. I did something for me today. I got out. The clouds look nice above me right now, but we don't see them. But it is setting a little bit of orange light into this and I can see it kind of dancing off the rocks that are wet but I don't know I feel good and I feel like I discovered something just off the beaten trap path that you know not everybody's seen before so I hope you enjoy that stay healthy stay safe peace